Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Kathy and for today's video, I will be baking some chocolate chip cookies. So let's jump straight into the video. I will be making two batches, but I will only write the measurements for one batch. Time to wash my hands. I'm adding in two cups of flour and four tablespoons of flour as well. half teaspoon of baking soda. Tiger's in here baking with me too. He's in this little corner. I don't know what he's doing. Such a cutie. I think he's just exploring. I'm just gonna use a fork to mix it around. Next, you wanna add half a cup of butter or Crisco, or you can use shortening. This is shortening. I'm just substituting it for butter because it is healthier, it cuts down on fat, and it's better. Next, you want to add in one half cup of sugar. Next, you want to add in another half cup of brown sugar. sugar and the butter mixture together. Add in one large egg. Since I'm doing two batches, I'm doing two eggs. Next, add in one fourth teaspoon of salt. one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. it was before, add in the flour and the baking soda. Now mix it all together. Making my dough, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. After I preheat the oven, I'm going to go get some chocolate chips and some walnuts. Now you can add 3 fourths cups of walnuts if you'd like, and then 1 cup of chocolate chips. I've already added a few chocolate chips and I want to see if 
that's enough. I usually don't do one cup or follow the recipe because sometimes there's too many chocolate chips and I don't really like it. I'm gonna see if the amount that I put in is good or I need to add more. I think that it is mixed pretty well. I have my pans here and then my cooling racks, I have two over there as well. I'm going to grease the pans with this spray. I get two cooking gloves. I put rubber bands so it's tight. And I like to make my cookies look very circular and like nice looking instead of all like bumpy and like wiggly and type stuff. I get an ice cream scoop. I scoop about this much and then I put it into my palm. I roll it. I place it down and I squish it a little. It is now time to pop them into the oven. Here's the first batch. Now you just want to, I can't do this with one hand. It's a little hard here. If I push it against the wall. Now you want to get a little like flipper thing and oops and put them on your cooling rack. Once you are done baking, you can put them on the cooling rack and then put them in a cookie jar if you have a cookie jar or anywhere you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I have some guests over and so far they have liked the cookies. Don't forget that I have linked the recipe down in the description so that you can try it out yourself. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell, and give it a big thumbs up. Bye guys!